Okay. They brought me out to the shop now, folks. Check this out. I said it was a D not Datsun or Nissan, but yeah, I was right. That's a Datsun? Uh, Nissan. A Nissan four or five. Five, five. five speed. Five speed. I used to have two of those bell housings as a coffee table. Had a, a, a gla piece of glass going between them. Check that out. Oh, oh hang on a minute. Can That's we pull it back hood. down a second? This is his hood, folks. His hood is a barbecue grill with a spatula hook to it. And it's a as thermometer. The, uh, it's got, that's how you know how hot your engine is. Yeah. Does it work? Yeah. Okay. I don't even know if it works. Well, that'd be cool if it was hooked up to the engine, so let's lift her up and see. No, so not. this is his little buggy. This is like a golf cart, but uh, not really. It's got a golf cart roof. What, a three-cylinder? That is neat right there. It's got a three-cylinder Kubota diesel in it. <laughs> Folks, this is what I can imagine my life at. How I would be, you know, if I had me a big piece of land and a nice big shop like that. I would be building some stuff like this. And you got to have your triangle, your tractor triangle, before you can drive right, so legally on the road. Farm equipment. Right, that's farm, farm equipment. equipment. We don't know what kind of farm you got, but it's farm equipment. But it's a Nissan <laughs> with a, a Nissan. Diesel. And it looks like it's been shortened, but not really, kind of. Yeah, it looks like it's been shortened. It has? Okay, yeah, yeah I was about to say, the wheelbase is not as long as a real truck. But, uh, Cool. That's pretty neat. And William wants me to try this chair. Well, sit in the chair. Sit okay, the chair. I'm 300 pounds. You can sit in Okay, let me try. See how it holds me. I think it will. That's a pretty big piece of wood. Y'all might have to get me back up. Oh, oh yeah, that's comfortable. <laughs> it's comfortable. That is comfortable. Yeah. That's the right angle and everything. Oh, boy. Don't you need a couple of those for your porch? Shoot. I need one that has a... A drink a, holder? A stump beside it with a drink holder <laughs> and a little umbrella stand. It'd be perfect right there. It makes me feel like I'm on a dang motorcycle. <laughs> you know, it does. It makes you feel like you're on a bike. Yeah, but it also, it ain't hard to get off. I feel like I'm on a chopper. <laughs> it ain't hard to get off. It ain't hard to get up. Well, I ain't gonna do that with y'all here. No, y'all had, had to close your eyes for me to try that. <laughs> It ain't hard for you. I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah. Whoa! Hang on a minute. I squished my nuts. <laughs> okay. All right. He don't film too good. He's over there filming, trying to hand it back to me. So yeah, that's pretty neat. What is this built out of? Pine also? That's cypress. Cypress. Uh, cedar. Cedar. And then you know the back of it looks like an arrowhead uh -huh. to me. Oh, Did you do that like that on purpose for an arrow? Yeah. To make it look like arrow? Okay. Yeah. Wow. Oh, oh my God. No. Yeah. Too. I've seen those videos before where you send electricity through them. Like yeah. that, those are uh, those are pretty neat when you watch that. I see an alligator coming to work over there. Yeah, right there. Yep. There's one up there. Oh, wow, look at that one up there. There's a whole alligator way up there. There's one out in my front yard. All right. Well, he's definitely, he's definitely a craftsman. That's for sure. He's got a little dinosaur. Look at that Indian head. Check that out. You know, if you hadn't told me different, I would think you're the guy that put all them signs down there in the trail by the river. This is <laughs> Look up here, this is Rattlesnake Diamondback. He builds oh these. man. He builds the clocks with the, the mirror. And... Yeah. So, here's a printer, or is that a plotter? Uh, plotter? It's a laser. A laser, okay. Is it a laser cutter? Yeah. Or a, a, for like doing uh, Burning. Yeah. I How would somebody get in touch with you if they wanted to buy some of your? I mean, you, you sell stuff that's like yeah. this. How would a guy get in touch with you? Just get in touch with me, and I get in touch with William. We bring them down here. Yeah. Bring them on down That'll and show work. you what you got. This is the man cave. Warning: Enter at your own risk. I thought we was in the man cave back here, but that's actually the man cave, the shop. <laughs> and it's just definitely insulated. Check it out. It's got insulation all up there. Um, you want to check out that solar system. All this is ran off solar. All this is? Yeah. See all the batteries up there? Yep. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at there. So all these batteries he's got up here. You know it's got to be a heck of a shelf to hold that. Wow. But that all runs down to a controller that's in there and it's all So cold. what's the red paint mean? That's the hot side? The red paint on them. Uh, yeah, just so that's I the hot side, the hot side, and then the other side's ripped black. All the lights on now are solar. So everything's running off solar. That's cool. Yeah. There's too much to see here. 
I can't walk that much, man. You're going to get my back wore out already. Folks, he will custom make things for you, too. If you got, like, you want your name carved out of wood or something like that, he can do that, I imagine. This is the and if you want to, he collects coolers, too. Just like me. This is the for sale room. Oh, okay. So this is the, this is, okay. The finished product. Check out these clocks. What is that? The squirrel. That's a squirrel. Okay. Y'all can't, okay, take the glare off of it like that. And we got some clocks. Right in the middle of the knots. Those are beautiful. Cypress or cedar. Cedar. Other cedars. Oh man, and this is this is the lightning wood. He puts electricity through it. I guess you have to soak it to get the electricity. To, no, just a sap. Just to sap it. It goes through sap. The sap or the, yeah, all the moisture that's still in the wood. Put moisture on it. Wow. There's a video. A lot of videos of these on the internet that where they. Yeah. It's really yeah. neat to wait to to watch it how it goes through. Mm. That's beautiful stuff right there. There's a bunch of carvings over there that he did with the laser. A little, that's a little tiny uh, picnic table. Uh huh. That got you a bottle opener up there. Yep. Bigfoot. Oh, look at that. A little stagecoach on that one. Yeah, that's all done with a laser. And these, all these little. Burn boards, oh, lots of them. The these are coasters. Yeah, beer coasters or drink coasters. Drink coasters. You can set your drink on there. Yep, that's that's beautiful. I like that. Oh, look at the bear. There's a bear oh, up yeah. here. It's for your Florida Gator fans, or just alligator people. Niceville Eagles got some eagles going. Home of horses and Bigfoot up to the top. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, that one's that one's probably my favorite right there. Yep, the mirror, the mirror in the middle of that. Yeah, that yep. would that'd be great in the bathroom, wouldn't it? Look, yep. there's Bigfoot's footprint. <laughs> that is actually yeah, Bigfoot's that footprint. It looks like a Bigfoot uh, footprint. So does that one. And those are like the knees. It looks like knees. The, those are shells. Cool. Folks, y'all got to get y'all got to get this guy to make you something. What? Here they come, coming back, folks. This is a centrifugal clutch. It's a diesel. A Kubota three cylinder. A Kubota three three cylinder diesel. They go through a Nissan. Tank. It runs off a damn a a, 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 a belt. A, 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 a what you call it belt. Hold on. That's what turns the whole thing. That's what keeps it going. We'll be right back, folks. I'm gonna go for a ride. Hey everybody, this is Kevin going for a ride on Terry's buggy. Whaler. Okay, this is a Navy Whaler. What year do you think it might be? It's a 1946. 1946, folks. I'm gonna show it to you. He's trying to sell it. What you want for it? I'll take five hundred. Five hundred dollars. Come get it. If you got a trailer big enough to haul it, come get it for five hundred bucks, folks. You don't have no title or nothing, just a whatever. It's a Bill Jones. He does have a title, okay. All right. Let's see where I can put this at. I'll take y'all up there and show it to you. Okay. Too. How many feet is it? Uh, Twenty-six foot. Twenty-six foot. It still even got the screw on it. Wow. Check this out. Wow. It could be restored. Jeez, this is like to pull stuff in, or to, to tow stuff, huh? For well, whatever, really. It, was, it hung on the side of a destroyer and they'd take it off and take about 18 people in it and take them into port. Somebody could restore this, you know. There's historians that would love to restore this and put it in a museum. Yeah. This is beautiful. It's, I mean, I see some. On. Yeah. Look at there. What's your name? Yeah, a whole bunch of guinea hens out here. Got a little bump right there. That's to be expected something this old. Once I get this old, I'm gonna have a lot of bumps on me. 
Yep, 500 bucks, folks. Bring you a heavy duty trailer. Cause this thing is built from the Navy, I guess. Yeah. The Navy built this and it's probably built like, you know, a destroyer. It needs some Holy fiberglass work. Cow. And... That's where the motor sat, right there. Yep. And there's a drive shaft right down through there. Amazing, check out that right there. Look at the size of that cleat. Oh, look at that one, it got bent. That's how they pick them up. Dang. The, Picked it up there. through here? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that, folks. Look at the size of that. that but the size of these cleats, front. these look like they're brass or part brass. They are brass. Copper or something, they turn it green. They're, they're brass. brass. It's gotta be, that one's bent like that, I mean. <laughs> Yeah, this is a magnet. There's no metal there. That's uh, that's that's. Brass. Yeah, that's not meant to rust. That's that's. Hey, you got the numbers right there. There's the numbers. We got some numbers on it. All right. C five seven five four. Br five four nine. No, all joking aside. Five hundred dollars. You said come bring your trailer. Take it away. Five hundred bucks. We're gonna show you something else. I'm gonna let somebody else. I'm gonna hand it to somebody else and let them walk around it for you. But let's listen to the specs about it. It's a 51 Ford F1. Kind of reminds me of Sanford and stuff. Yeah, that was the same model. Yeah. It's still got the original flathead V8 in it. It runs, drives, goes, got good tires on it. There's the interior. Got a beer keg. Yeah, but I doubt I can crank it. It, runs, but right it says old goat on the back. <laughs> it's a solid truck and ain't all rusted out, ain't all messed up. Runs, drives, and goes. I wouldn't even paint it. I'd leave it just like it is. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't paint it. Yeah, I wouldn't actually. There's a flathead V8, all complete, ready to go. Heck, the hood lay even lashes. There's a guy out there that might want to make a rat rod. 7,000 to take it away, huh? Hell yeah. He said seven grand for that one, folks. If y'all interested in that, put your comment. Get in touch with me. Okay, on my website, if, if you go to rednextgonewild.com, go to the very bottom, and at the bottom on the right, there's a little icon thing that is to message me. You can use that to send me a message. Write your message out, type it all out it'll automatically send your message to my email and then I can contact you back through that. Leave your phone number and all that stuff and tell me what you call, what you want to uh, contact me about and I can get back with you. And uh, yeah, we got one more thing I guess we're gonna show you. And it's for sale too? The diesel? No, it's not for sale, but we're gonna show, we're gonna talk about it real quick. It's just something to do. His, your truck. Oh, his personal, his that. personal daily driver? Not for sale. Nope, no. Okay, well, but we'll tell you about it. We're going to go show you that real quick before we go. We're going to get back and try to work on this four-wheeler because uh, I think my gas is leaking. This is his daily driver. He ain't selling it. It's awful tell me about the truck that's not for sale. Everybody's going to be wanting to buy this one, I'm sure. The 1997 Chevy Step Side. Yep. Uh, it's got 1980 Mercedes engine and it's Tam had a Tammy Faye Baker's diesel Mercedes. Tammy Faye Baker's personal vehicle. Yep. Well, uh, they took the diesel out of it and put it in here. Right. Wow. And it's got a picture of Bigfoot on the front. Looks like. Yeah, I hit him. Yeah. <laughs> he hit Bigfoot. He ran over Bigfoot. No wonder they can't find him. Look at that. There's wow. a Mercedes Benz. It is a Mercedes diesel, folks. Hey. Here it's is dip his stick dip stick. Dipstick is a tree limb. Yeah. Did you put this in or you bought it like yeah, this? No, I he put did, it in. You did this one. Did what this a conversion. One. Wow. I'll Six tell you what. Mercedes Benz five cylinder. Five cylinder. Five, five cylinder. Five cylinders. Diesel. Wow. You have the keys with you? Yeah. Can we start it up? We're going to have to hear it now. We got to hear this one. Everybody's going to say, man, y'all can't make that video without starting that truck up. Yeah, is it gonna blow smoke out the back or? No? no? Maybe a little, little black smoke? It might blow. No, we'll see if it, they'd like to see that. Is it on this side or that side? Or both? <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Watch the tailpipe, folks. Let's see. Yeah, a little bit, not much. Wow.
<laughs> this is how you improve on a Chevrolet pickup truck. You put a diesel engine in it. Out of a Mercedes that was owned by Tammy Faye Baker. I believe that she wore a lot of clown makeup or something like that. She's known for wearing a lot of makeup. How's my makeup look? Do I got too much on? Look at that, I got makeup on the camera.